Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope intercept form, specifically how we can find it using tables and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So this is a table, we've been dealing with tables all the way since 2nd and 3rd grade and you might need to try to find the equation that works with this table, but here's the trick. In 8th grade it's going to be a little bit harder than simply finding the rule, right? We need to write the equation that represents this relationship, but it needs to be in this slope intercept form, right? So we got x and y, our uh, x right here is going to be our independent variable. Uh, this is going to be y, our dependent variable. This y depends on what happens with the m and the x. This is going to be our slope, and this is going to be our y-intercept, this b. That's what happens uh, when the x is 0. Uh, that's where it crosses the y-axis. So now that we know what all of our terms are, how do we figure it out from here? Because all we get is some x and y coordinates. right? And you might think, oh, 5 and negative 25. OK, so that's maybe times negative 5. But then times negative 5 doesn't work for 7. So it's not going to be as simple as that. Well. If you think about what happens if we were to graph this, if we were to graph this, what we would do is we would find our slope first. Remember, our slope is going to be our change in y over our change in x. That's what our slope is. That's how you find the slope. And uh, that means you take uh, y coordinates, subtract them, take your x coordinates, and subtract them and sometimes we'll short shorten that to rise over run well we've got x and y coordinates so we can actually find the slope here uh, so let's let's just do these two it doesn't really matter which ones you do but let's just go ahead and do that okay so our two y coordinates we've got negative 37 minus and then we've got this negative 25. So those two minuses are going to make a positive. And then you've got the two x coordinates that go with those 9 minus 5. All right, that's easy. So really, this is a plus. This is negative 37 plus 25. Uh, or if you want to kind of flip those around, right, you can do 25 minus 37. So 25 minus 37 get you all the way back to 0, and that leaves you with 12. So we're going to do negative 12 over 4. So 12 over 4 is 3, but it's negative 12 over 4. So all of that works down to a slope of negative 3. All right, so my m equals negative 3. So it's going to be y equals negative 3x. But then we get this uh, y-intercept here. And so let's just plug that negative 3x into some of these things. Look at this. So I'm going to say, uh, let's use this first one right here. So my y is negative 25. So I'm going to use, I'm going to plug this back into my slope intercept form. Negative 25 equals my slope is negative 3. My x is 5. So you see how I pulled out my. 5 and negative 25 and put them right here. And then I just need, it's that B. That's what I'm trying to isolate. So I've got negative 25 equals negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So plus 5 or plus B. And now I'm just going to, let's just add 15 to both sides, All right? And guess what I'm going to get? Negative 25 plus 15, that's going to be negative 10. So B is going to equal negative 10. So it looks like my y-intercept is negative 10. Let's try it with this final one just to make sure it really works. So y equals negative 55 equals the slope, which is negative 3. x is 15. My y-intercept is negative 10. Does that work? Yes, it does. And that's how you find it 